My name is Christopher Hall. I am from Florence, Arizona. I grew up in Phoenix, Arizona, and now reside in Tucson, Arizona. I am a drag performer known by the name of Naughty Nature. Growing up in Arizona hasn't been easy. It's uh, definitely the politicians there and the lawmakers don't make it necessarily a place to go if you're looking to be accepted. It's that attitude that I get from the lawmakers and policymakers there that drives me to do what I do. I want to make a life better than the life I had for myself growing up. What drives me and where, I, you know, where my strengths are is my family and the people I have seen change uh, due to the person that I am. And knowing that if I can change somebody's opinion uh, by simply being myself, what I do as a drag performer, I often spread the message of charity. Uh, I started my own organization when I was 19. It's called Central Arizona Rainbow Education, which is a nonprofit that works with already existing LGBTQ to provide services to areas in rural Arizona that don't have services. That is actually how I got my drag start is with that organization and working with queens uh, who helped us in our mission. Uh, and now I want to pay back the same to other organizations as a drag performer. I currently have two jobs, uh, one which pays for, of course, my, my own personal needs, my rent, my electricity, and my bills. Uh, and then I also have another job doing the same thing, which is taking care of adults with special needs that pays for my drag and pays for my activism and my just my my donations to other either the I'm out there doing the work or I'll say here's some money. <laughs> I attended recently an ex gay ministry where actually I met my purpose in going in there wasn't of course to change who it is so yeah, because I know who I am and I'm proud of being the person that I am. My goal was to talk to individuals, uh, kids that were sent there by their parents and families saying something was wrong with them and giving them resources that locally that they could go to uh, without anyone necessarily knowing. Uh, I didn't want them to uh, have messages of hate and leaving because that's often what leads to many teen suicides. Um, so, and since then, and since doing that work, I've had several kids um, talk to me and tell me they appreciate what it is that I do. A lot of them actually uh, are inspired, and a lot of them I've actually seen either start their own GSAs, they've started other organizations, or they, you know, just even talking about it, they become, they're wanting to become drag queens themselves. Um, so I do see a lot of what I do inspiring other people, and that's another thing that drives me besides um, my parents and friends, is those individuals. A lot of people will follow you regardless if you're right or wrong. You have a following. People love you either because they love you or they love you because of the talent that you bring to the stage. We have voices that are very powerful. We have a following and we should use it for good, which is what I want you to do.